Hi everyone, I'm back. Well, I'm still in Quebec, but we recorded this before I left. I'm glad you can do that. Yeah. So, we've been talking about Jesus' parables. Do you remember what parables are? Yeah. Parables are stories that Jesus told to help us understand about God and how we should live our lives. That's right. Today's parable is about weeds in the garden. I remember during the pandemic, we came to church to help Elizabeth with our peace garden. Yeah, I remember that too. We were able to help out only during the pandemic, but Elizabeth, and before her it was Hetty, and other church members still come out a few times a week to take care of our garden. Yeah, pulling out the weeds and watering it, no matter how hot or tired they are. Yeah, and I remember when we helped out, one of the hardest things was to see which plant is weeds and which ones are actual flowers in the garden. It was hard for me too. Elizabeth told us that if we are not sure, not to worry about it. She would take care of it. It was a relief. I didn't want to pull the actual flowers. Yeah. Today's parable is a bit similar. Let's hear the parable of weeds. Here we go. Jesus told another parable to help people understand about heaven. A farmer prepared his ground for planting. Then he carefully scattered good seed on the plowed soil. But one night, as the farmer slept, his enemy came and sowed weeds, known as tares, among the wheat. When the wheat crop began to grow, the tares grew among the wheat, too. As tares are growing, they look like wheat, but they are poisonous and not fit for eating. If you eat tares, you will feel drunk and sick with vomiting and diarrhea. It is not until the wheat appears at harvest time that you can see the difference between the wheat and the tares. Jesus continued. So the farm laborers went to find the farmer to warn him of the problem. Sir, the field where you planted that good seed is full of tares. An enemy must have done it, the farmer exclaimed. Shall we try and pull out the tares, they asked. No, the farmer replied. You might damage the wheat if you do. Let the wheat and tares grow together until the harvest. The farmer knew his laborers would be able to clearly identify the tares from the wheat at harvest time. I will tell the reapers to pull out the tares first and burn them, the farmer said. Jesus told this story to compare his church to a garden that was infested with poisonous weeds. What do you mean? Well, there are mean people, even in a Christian church community, who hurt others. They do things that aren't loving and they don't seem to believe what the Bible teaches us. They sometimes say hateful things about other people and try to hurt them. They're like the weeds in the garden. Yeah, and if they're like the weeds in the garden, we might not want to remove them right away since we don't want to remove the good people. Exactly! In his story, Jesus said that we shouldn't worry about pulling up the weeds that grow around us. He said that we leave the weeds for God to take care of. Instead, we should concentrate on doing what he wants us to do. That's to produce good fruit. That's right! Whenever we see someone in the church that we don't think should be there, we should remember Jesus' advice before trying to remove them. Just leave it up to God. Our responsibility is to produce good fruit. It means to show God's love to people through our lives and to serve Him and His people. Before we sing today's song, I wanted to show you some pictures of wheat and tares from Jesus' story. Here is a picture of wheat and tares near harvest time. Can you tell which is which? This is a tear weed. The spikelets of a mature tear turn edgeways towards the stem, whereas the wheat spikelets remain firm and upright. This is wheat. At harvest, the ears on the real wheat are so heavy, the entire plant droops down. The ears on the tares are lighter, with fewer seeds, and the plant grows more upright. The tares grow slightly higher than the wheat. Wheat seeds ripen to a golden brown, but tare seeds turn black. Interesting, right? Let's sing a song. Today's song is Love One Another. Love one another, love one another, that's what Jesus said. Love one another, love one another, just as I loved you. Then will all men know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. That's what Jesus said. 
Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for always taking care of us. Please help us to love one another so that people know that we are your followers. Please help us to leave the matter of judgment in your hands. We pray in your name. Amen. Amen.